All right, so we are at the last stage of um, our templating over here, and all we need to do is dump the uh, JSON to HTML converted content into somewhere on our page. Now, if we look at this example over here, the final line in this author's uh, externalized template, what he's doing here is he's targeting a, an element, whether it's a div container, or an article, or whatever it is. Its ID is sample area. Now he's saying that the HTML over there that he's targeting, he's just going to replace it with the HTML derived from this variable. Now, what's inside of the, H, the jQuery HTML method or function over here is a variable that just happens to also be named HTML. Maybe a little confusing. That's part of the reason why I rename mine JSON HTML. So, uh, well, actually, let's just do it. Things generally seem to make more sense when implemented. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it right underneath my JSON HTML variable. Okay. So first order of business, if I'm going to target a thing called sample area, well, I'm going to need an element called sample area in my HTML. So I'm going to move right down into my body, and I'll go div ID equals, and let me take that, and there you go, and then I'll close it. So. For this targeting, I simply created an empty sample area. Now, .html, so it's going to target the HTML that we generated from here, and it's going to pop it right in there. So let's, well, rather, it's going to, just to be clear, we're going to take this content, and it's going to be treated as the HTML for sample area. Okay. Now let's see what that does for us. All right, good, but not really. Because what's happening here is that this script is actually dumping, we have four results, but all we see is one. Because this line over here is actually dumping, every time this script executes, it's putting the, the last one that it received as the HTML. So <clears throat> we need to change this up a bit so it doesn't actually do that every single time. So here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to say, just actually we're going to follow exactly our logic that we do here. Instead of saying HTML, why don't we just say append, put it in there, and then, well, we have to append it to something, right? Because even at this point, we haven't appended it to anything. So append to, and what do we want to append it to? Well, if we keep, if we still want to keep on filling up our sample area, we could just do append to this. And that should equal four results on our page. There you go. You see, and you see how sometimes the last one is different that's what was happening before so all right let's summarize everything we've done with mustache clearly first order of business was linking to the actual JavaScript no mustache no well, you're out of luck right then right underneath our <clears throat> get JSON results we took out our string concatenation style templating and the first thing we did is define a variable that is looking for the HTML content within shares templates, shares template. And <clears throat> in order to this be relevant at all, we actually had to create this little snippet of code in our HTML, which is a script, which, by the way, a unique type, it's text forward slash template. So it, if we, we don't want to put script there because then the 
the browser is going to try to act on it but whatever we didn't even worry about it we just copy and pasted that and then inside the script we we did our actual template our templating and this is where the the mustache in mustache.js comes from right because we got these double curly braces on stuff okay next thing we did was actually define a new variable that was the converted content okay so this variable actually represents our ultimately what we're trying to do over here and get our JSON to be converted to HTML and that equals the function that mustache provides now mustache has a function called to HTML to underscore HTML and we passed it two parameters first the template that was our template here so now it knows the format it needs to put our content in and then we put data and data is just the stuff we're getting from Facebook itself so now it, it knows the stuff we have and what we want it to look like and actually even more than that it did it at this point final thing we did is actually add this stuff to our page with the append append to and this and that was it pretty painless I think once you wrap your head around mustache.js um, I doubt you'll want to go back to string concatenation style templating